Okay, so I'm a bit sorry for not being too active on the channel in the last few days. I've been a bit busy. Uh, so I've realized that you should be trying to prepare for the San Diego Regionals, which are not even in a week. The tournament starts on like Saturday and today is Sunday where I'm recording this. So I decided to just make a quick rundown of all the metagame stuff that is currently happening. I have played plenty of games in preparation for the Liverpool Regionals, which are in about three weeks. Uh, but I, I have basically gathered enough information for to just make multiple Metagame Monday videos, but uh, I, th I think I could just make like a quick rundown today of all the teams, so you should just know what to expect out of the regionals and maybe make last minute and just uh, adjustments so let's start with the dondozo i think everyone just kind of like wants to know what's up with that thing so usually that's a guri dondozo is of course the undisputed duo on the team that must be included uh dondozo started experimenting with terra blast actually in the last few days i've seen most Commonly flying Terra Blast, which is just kind of like the I would say a lot quicker Solution to the Amigas problem. Uh, you could go like st steal Terra and like go for substitutes to be a Minida Spore and Clear Smog at the same time But if you just go Terra flying and you just you just do Terra Blast on the Amigas There is a chance Amigas won't just live this and it will just faint Another option is to go for the grass Terra Stilization on the Dondozo which allows you to uh, slam the other water types, which Dondozo usually struggles to deal damage to. Other than that, Order Up is still as overpowered as before. Yes, you just get the boost even if you hit into a Protect or into a Fairy type, because Dondozo needed, needed to be just a bit better. All right, And that's a Giri. I've seen uh, Focus Sash sets, Choice Pack sets, but I think the most common one is Choice Scarf set. It has incredible... It has incredible potential to clean up games, especially like with Modus, it just outspeeds like Neo Scarada and maybe uh, Kilobitrel, and that's basically all it needs to outspeed. Uh, Dragapult it doesn't need to be outspeed, it's not nearly as common for it to justify using Timid Nature, but with Modus Nature, you see like it's based on 120 special attack. Like you will slam super hard with a Draco Meteor. And you got great Muddy Water and Hydro Pump coverage, and even Ice Wind. So, that's a good with Choice Scarf. Totally expect this to be seen a lot. Now, Dondozo and Datsuguri gained two new allies. Uh, usually, that's Lycanroc and Tarnanator. There, there are, of course, Dondozo variants, which do not run Tarnanator and Lycanroc, but I have seen a lot of them. So, basically, Lycanroc's strategy is to go to just 1 HP and go for Endivore. You could run, uh, or you could run, people usually run Endure actually, so it can just be a lot more reliable to get to the uh, Focus Ash, uh, to the 1 HP, and then they run like Rock Slide, Close Combat with like Jolly Nature is actually super dangerous against Mouse Hold, because you do outspeed Mouse Hold by one point, and you can just one-shot it with Close Combat. But I have seen Stone Edge and even Acel Rock to just uh, get around priority, so... Yeah, that's like a rock. Tyranitar is basically always, and I quote, always Terra flying. So I don't know. It just it just makes sense. It just fits the narrative for Tyranitar pretty well. It slams the Annihilate, which uh, Lycanroc and Tyranitar otherwise have problems against. And what's Annihilate going to do? Terra stylize in the Fire type? Well, yeah, just, just GG to Rock Slide. And yeah, Assurance is probably the most common move alongside Rock Slide and Terra Blast. And then they got some kind of freedom to run like Ice Punch for Guard Chomp if you consider that a problem. Uh, Fire Punch, Low Kick are all viable options. They usually run some speed uh, and probably max HP and they are really bulky. Or make it rain, even if you say alright it's just like not getting the sand boost from the sand, make it rain doesn't do over 50% to it. Uh, no, no, I don't. Uh, I, I'm not sure if it's like Terra Slice Steel or Choice Packs, but it just doesn't do a lot. So expect it to do around 50% with a boosting item. And last two slots, I have seen 
mostly, almost always, on that security on those, though, it's Sylveon plus Mioscarada. Sometimes Mioscarada carries Focus Sash. If there is no turn and turn on Lycanroc, they definitely do not run, uh, they definitely run Focus Sash. And if you're one of these, like, also don't know so that security teams, I have seen Neoscarada run Toxic Spikes. What's the purpose of Toxic Spikes? Well, to poison your Dondozo in the back to lose you the mirror. So, expect Neoscarada to carry Toxic Spikes. Be ready for this, because it's genuinely a great counter strategy to opponents Dondozo that security teams. Other than that, this combo has incredible synergy, they basically hit the entire game for neutral damage, knockoff is annoying, flower tray grows through screens, hyper voice hits hard after throat spray even harder, Sylveon can tear slice in the fire type to just be as super annoying against Golden Ego. It's super good synergy, and they lead as a they work as a lead, so I mean it's not like that they have synergy with the rest of the team. If you're already running like turn and turn like rock and that's a great on dozo, you basically have to lead like have another lead combination because I mean you get what I mean. Like having three possible leads is just good for the chances of you winning because there is a high chance opponent won't guess the lead correctly. Although I have seen some other variants like Yesgar does Sylveon and like Talonflame and Golden Ego to counteract your opponents. Talon teams, so that's also an option, but these are, excuse me, these are the three combinations you absolutely need to prepare for if you're facing facing against Dondozo. So let's see, what else do we have? Annihilate screens usually like, I mean they usually like carry Grimmsnarl, Mousehold, yeah that's basically all you have to do with Annihilate. Mass Hold basically evens out the mirrors, all, always wins you the mirrors, because, I mean, the idea behind Mass Hold is you got Friend Guard to increase the Annihilate's bolt to astronomical levels, and then you go for beat up into yourself to get the Rage Fist boost to 250 base power and then you just slam everything. That's the strategy, you still got bulk up, you still got screens, you're super annoying with this, and Mouse Hold actually does really well against Dondozo with Super Fang, and even Encore, it can run Taunt, it can run, still can run Population Bomb if it wants to, and, and it of course has Follow Me, so that's just super annoying to deal with. Rest of the team usually carry like is some kind of like bulky offense, I have seen Ruto Mosh on this team because it has just such a good matchup against the Golden Ego Murkrow, uh, Garchomp team, uh, I've seen Arcanine for the extra Intimidate, which is super cool. Uh, uh, well, yeah, I think that's about it. This team is extremely customizable. You can basically run anything in the last two slots. I've seen like Murkrow, Golden Ego, and Garchomp as well in the last, uh, last three slots because it, the team can just afford to do this. Uh, but yeah, I think this is the most common core. You need to prepare for these three and then have a gen generally good game plan. And I think this is like good strength of an eye -like. Basically, with these three Pokemon, you always have a strong option against multiple teams. The rest of the team can be animated as, as you can be, but if you face like against a weird team, you can always fall back on the Annihilate Grimstrom Mazalt combination and be sure it's going to do something and it's going to leave a mark on the team. Annihilate is basically always going to try two Pokemon for itself, which gives you freedom to run supporter like Grimstrom and Mazalt in the last two slots. It's incredible Pokemon, such a well allocated stat. If you're asking for the speed on an iLife, I think they can run basically anything. Like, if they want to the speed creep you, they, well, they can. You usually only, like, need this much attack and this much HP, and the rest of the stats can be basically put anywhere, and it's going to be good use for it. So, uh, if you want to give me... Uh, want to... Want me to give you good advice how to outspeed an iLife, well, you just will have to kind of guess. <laughs> Another, like, good combination that's just, like, going to do... Something against multiple other teams is Murkrow, Golden Ego, Garchomp. This combination, I mean, if you actually, I should just gave you. I mean, I gave you tips how to deal with the Golden Ego Murkrow, I think, in my uh, Golden Ego Murkrow video. Dondozo also is counteracted. I made a video about that. Other than that, uh, yeah, how to counteract an I like. Well, uh, just hit it hard. I think, uh, 
What are the few good counters that I like? Um, let me think, actually. Well, by the way, Mouse Hold will Terrestrialize and a Ghost if they see a Dragonite, so that's an not an option. Hmm. Burning is not an option either because they can just uh, transform into the Fire Terra. I think one of the best options is to have to deal with the Murkrow, uh, I mean, excuse me, Golden Ego plus an Ally Blade is to just like get a speed boost and then just go for Make It Rain because uh, usually the Mass Hold carries like Safety Goggles, Rock Element, or something like that. They usually do not have Focus Sash, so you can just go for Make It Rain and just and just knock them out. So that's great. Uh, Redirection is also good. If you got Follow Me, that's pretty much appreciated because they usually carry the safety goggles for the Amingus. Bulky Offense probably does not beat Annihilate without some stronger offensive Pokemon because they'll always out offense you and out Bulky with a friend guard. Uh, hmm. I mean, if I had to give you advice, Proton Wash not only can Rax the Golden Egg or Crow. Dirt Chomp combination, it also kind of slams the... Slams the... Dirt Fire and I like pretty damn hard, and you should outspeed it if you run like decent amount of speed, so... so that's probably a good tip I can give you. Then you only have to really just scare out the Annihilate out of its typing. So for example, get like a Willow Whisper, and you should be golden. Because, I mean, they have to protect their Annihilate with Follow Me to not get burned, or just get uh, Hydro Pump, so... Yeah, uh... Hmm. I'm trying to think, think of more counters. Garchomp probably slams the Terrifier, uh, and... And I like pretty hard as well. And I mean, if you could like, Choice Band on this, and like, Levitator next to yourself, like, Hydreigon, for example, you will just easily out offense the Annihilate. Like, they just got no chance. Hydreigon with Choice Bags also, like, uh, it's pretty damn, hits pretty damn hard, but... Actually, let me just tell you about uh, another metagame curiosity I just found out. Sorry for dragging the counter action for an eye for that long. A lot of Hydreigons are carrying scope lens and focus energy. For reasons of breaking through uh, screens, which is just a great idea. And you always crit, so you don't care about your special uh, def uh, special attack drops. Also, you crit through the uh, boosts of the uh, Dondozo, which is just freaking excellent, right? So, yeah, a Hydreigon to focus energy probably should get rid of you of your uh, an ally problems as well, somewhat decently. Uh, so, yeah, but that's also what a lot of Hydreigons are running. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, so let's get to the uh, Murkrow Golden Yoke. Again, I think I could just make it really short. This core is all you need to kind of counteract. The rest of the team is extremely customizable because... Golden Ego and Garchomp just hit so much of the metagame for super effective damage or neutral damage, and that's enough. That's enough. Choice Packs of Golden Ego hits hard enough for even neutral hits to just one shot. And then Life Orb Garchomp hits also super hard with ground terrestrialization. It's incredible. Although a lot of people have been starting to experiment around with different terrestrializations on Garchomp. Like, I've seen Terra Blast from Fire to just counteract the Golden Ego better. I've seen a lot of options, but like, yeah, this just hits so much of the meta for super effective or neutral damage from Golden Echo that the rest of the team, team can just be basically anything. Uh, usually, we have seen in the past, we've seen our Mirage Plus and Didi in the last two slots because they just just work so well. Like, if they see another Telvin team, they just go for the semi Crew option themselves and they just kind of win because they have Telvin and I have Throw Crew. That's basically easy flowchart for it. So yeah, Armrush and DD has been just seeing some more usage. Uh, although I don't, don't expect a lot of these big armor and mirages to pop out because like they usually lose in the open team sheet meta. I mean they are still strong, but not as good. So don't expect many of these. So yeah, still we do not have confirmation if follow me in DD is legal. It all crisis leads to the fact it probably is legal. So yeah. Uh, uh, how do you counteract this? I uh, would just get some Snarl or just get Snarl, like Hydreigon and Snarl, and they're done for. Like, they cannot do anything. Like, even if Indidi, I mean, has Dazzling Gleam, 
Snarl plus Assault Fast Mike is just so ridiculous the bulky against this. And it also counteracts the Torkoal in the back. You need to counter have a counter for Torkoal and Trick Room in the back. There are multiple options how to reliably set up the Trick Room. Namely, I've seen more Hariyamas pumping out lately. And like Fairy Gear Up, how are you gonna prevent this Trick Room? You need to prepare for Torkoal and Trick Room or have an imprisoned Trick Room. And even then, it's kind of itchy because like they can just fake out your imprisoned Trick Room. I would just get a check to Hariyama lead and then Torkoal in the back and he should be golden against the Trick Room options as well. Or against Armor Rush, and he just gets Struggle Buck or Snarl, it doesn't matter. It should just counteract them pretty damn well. But yeah, for the Murkrow Golden Ango, it's again extremely customizable what the rest of the team can be. Usually it's Choice Pax Golden Ango, usually it's Cypher of Guard Chomp, and it's Talman Hayes Murkrow, because it's just so... Center Jazz is so well against the Dondozo meta, and Center Jazz is so well with the Mega Trine Golden Ango. Kind of interesting that Perry Song doesn't affect Golden Ego, but Hayes does. Now that I'm thinking about it, but that's how it goes. So we have gone through Annihilate. Almost all of these teams are extremely customizable, so just counteract the core and then just kind of have a good game plan. Just have a solid game plan yourself so you can deal with the rest of the customizable core. That's my advice. So yeah. We have gone through screen, Stalwin, Trick Room, and Dondozo. I think that's pretty much it for the metagame as of right now. So yeah, one more recap. Gunract, Annihilate, Grimstrahl, Mazhold combination. Mazhold is Friend Guard, Follow Me, Beat Up. So if you they part up Rage Fist, that's the current meta. Uh, then you got the Trick Room, so usually Gunract, Hariyama, uh, Trick Room lead, and then have a counter for Turkle in the back. Pearl is something with Assault Vest that resists eruption. That's usually just enough. Uh, then you got the Dondozo, just be ready for Dondozo and have a sure you can... I mean, if you're having trouble against the Sand combination, just get Intimidate. A lot of people do not carry Clear Amulet anymore, not even on their guard chomps because no one really runs Arcanine. So here's your chance to use Arcanine to Intimidate both Neoscarada and the Terranitar Lycanor combination. That's the advice I can give you. And I mean, you got Tauros, Water Tauros in this matter with Aqua Jet. It's amazing against this. And then uh, against the Murkrow Golden Angle Guard Chomp, I would just recommend like, running like Rotom Wash and he should be golden. Uh, even like with choice packs, you just want you to Murkrow on the lead. And then make sure you just go like Grand Type or Fire Type for Golden Angle. And you should be golden against Golden Angle. I'm sorry. Uh, so yeah, and I like, he, he just hit them hard with Earthquake and Hydra Golden. And like other choice packs users, and you should be golden as well. So. That's the Kira metagame situation. Hopefully you learned something new and I'll be next someday. I'll see. Maybe I'll figure something out. But yeah, currently I'm preparing for the uh, Liverpool Originals. I... I'm titled 3000. Holy moly. Uh, yeah, so I'm like putting aside some curiosities I find a letter on my Twitter. So just follow me there. It's kind of interesting. Like... Just a few minutes ago, I faced up against a helping and focus Ash Scizor, which is totally a reasonable thing to prepare for, right? Anyway, I'll see myself out. See you next time.